Well, as you can see, something is to our right. Let's see what this is. Look. Lookout says there's three of them and they're almost here. Shout out to Flair is Thick, who just gifted a membership to the community and went to Monkey Spank 2.0. Congrats, Monkey Spank, on the gifted membership. And thank you to Flair is Thick for uh, supporting the stream tonight and the community as a whole. Thank you so much. Okay, so this is Crawley. Look at him. He says, waltzing through the sewers like they own the place, eh? Must have a death wish. We'll teach him a little respect. Look out. says, yes, we will. Hee hee hee. Just let them come through here. They'll be chopped liver pulverized. Won't even know what to call them when they're done. Ha 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 ha. Hee hee hee. Har 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 har. Ha 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 ha. Hee hee hee. Huh? Time to fight. I'll smash you to goo. That looks painful. That was very powerful, very, very uh, damaging. Counter counterattack, that was great. Double counter attack. Got him! He had double counter attack after that and we beat him. Chrono survived with one HP. Did you see that? We beat him. 100 experience, 500 gold, mid ether. Chrono levels up. Nice. So, so much for Crawley. That was pretty cool. He was doing insane damage with that slam attack, but because I kept healing, no one died and Chrono has that ability to be resilient and survive. And that's what he just did. He did a double counter attack because I have that belt equipped, the rage belt. So it's a double counter attack to that and uh, killed the boss. That was pretty cool. Very nice. All right, let's continue. See what our rewards will be for coming down here. Uh-oh. Oh, more eggs. And, oh my God, seriously? Spin to win. The thing I like about this game uses the whole screen, like as you can see, there's not like any area of the screen not used. It fills all everything and there's enemies can be anywhere. I like that about the game, that they can come out like any part of the screen. It's not like like a standard Square Enix RPG it has like established places where the heroes stand, where the enemies stand. In this case, the screens are the same as the combat, and they could be anywhere. Like enemies could pop out of the water, come out of the wall, come off the bottom, the top, the left, the right. You don't know where they're gonna come from. They can surprise you. I like that about Chrono Trigger. Critical hit. Goodbye. Very good. I love the music. I think the music is really, really good. So Marl is starting to run low on tech points. Hopefully we'll be able to beat the dungeon before we run out. So I think there's an item over here. Yup. Thunder Blade. Ooh. Hell yeah. It's a thunder element blade. Sweet. And now the shortcut's open. We can go out that way. But let's see what's through here. Because now we beat it, I think. Where does this pop out? Oh, where the hell are we? Oh, look. Death Peak and Keeper's Dome. All right. Anything? It doesn't work. The screen's dead. Whoa, look at this. Strange Construct says, Oh, wise one, I cannot wait to see what program code you install in me next. Oh, now is not... That, that's the sort of appreciation that makes me all, all the wor worthwhile. How's the current one? Seems a little better than before. Who is this? <clears throat> Shala. Oh, I missed you so. No, you mustn't go to Death Peak. Wouldn't make it very far anyway. It has to be the right time, and it has to be them, or the way is shut. Yes, yes. Say, 
Have you seen my masterpieces? The Ocean Palace and the Blackbird? I designed and built them both, you know. Fine works, wouldn't you say? Huh? <laughs> eh? Uh, what, old man? So he says, he's talking about this Shala, and then he tells you don't, not to go to Death Peak, and then he says, have you seen his masterpieces, the Blackbird and the Ocean Palace? Is that all? Yeah, that's it. This is a strange construct, apparently. And this is a door we can't open. So really, this is a dead end. I believe this is for, for later in the game you can come back here, but it's supposed to be like a little preview now of things to come later. And here's Death Peak. Is there anything down there? No. And Death Peak apparently is going to be way too tough. We can still check it out, though. Let's save. Here's Death Peak. Look at this. I don't think we're going to make it. It seems to be a crazy snow breeze. Look at this. I got a strength capsule. It was hidden over there. But then I got blown off the mountain. <laughs> wow. I found a strength capsule. All right. I'll use it. Sweet. So, we can't do Death Peak yet. Oh, by the way, take a look at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. We now know we're in 2300 AD. That's the first time the game confirmed the time period, right? So now we know. So, we're here early. We can't do this yet. We actually have to go back and backtrack through these abandoned sewers. And come back later. Now I know not to touch anything in this room. Touch absolutely nothing, because that makes the mermen come out, right? Whew, so imagine, you live in the year 1000 AD, and, uh, you know, you could go 1300 years in the future, and it's all like this. You're like, what the hell happened to everything? By the way, look, the shortcut's now open. So we can go back and forth there if we want. Not that we need to. Okay, we're out of here for now. Carl Johnson, or CJ, says he ordered a copy of Alien Isolation on PS4. Watched Alien and Aliens in preparation. It's a good game, man. It's a scary game, too. So prepare for, for a lot of jump scares and creepy moments in that one. All right. Site 32. Oh, look. A chest right here. Mid potion. Sweet. Look at this. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh oh. Hold it right there. Oh, bro. Thanks for the intro, boys. Bro. You low lives call me Johnny. I'm the leader of this pack. Now listen up. The ruined highway up ahead's the only road you got. You want to reach the other side? Then you're going to have to ride in a race with me, that is. I'll let you use that tip back because that's the kind of guy I am. Don't sweat it and don't you dare check it out, babe. So, well, uh, you got shiny axles and you know how to ride? Yes. No, I don't. I actually don't know how to ride. Oops. I don't know what I'm doing. This is not good. I have no idea what I'm doing. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, no. This is really bad. What you're supposed to do is stay ahead of him and win. I think you turbo by pressing B. I think that's what it is. The B button. I won. I turbo to the last second and won the race. <laughs> By the way, this scrolling technology was brand new for SNES at the time. Games like Super Mario World and Zelda and this game and others were using it. And, you know, oh my God, it's groundbreaking. Look at this technology, man. There we go. Yo, beat me. I don't get it. Well, you can come challenge me again anytime. We'll ride the wind, babe. You suck. <laughs> that was fast. Mode 7, is that what it was called? Mode 7? 
It was new technology at the time. The derelict factory. Now, they had told us to go to the Protodome, which is down there. Can we get into the derelict factory yet? I don't think so. Oh, no. I guess now, look. We're fighting this stupid thing. Two damage. Great. Do no damage. You probably gotta use elements. Like fire. No, that's completely worthless. Wow, what about wind? 12. It died. It had like no HP. Alright. Luka leveled up. Sweet. So I guess we're not getting through here. Look, there's a laser. Yep, so we're not doing this yet. Okay. Oh, is he? Okay, I'll get rid of him. Sorry, there's a troll. I got rid of him. No trolls ruining our Chrono Trigger chill vibe. Absolutely not. You're not allowed. Okay, Proto Dome. No more enemies. Who's this? Yeah, look, enemies. Wow. Okay. Ah! A shock like Blanco. Electrocuting us. Gosh, stop electrocuting us! Unacceptable. Street Fighter is tomorrow. Very good. Experience and some gold. Okay. Oh god, that's a lot. They're dancing. They're doing synchronized dancing. Look at this. Flame World. Hit three of them. Flame World. Here we go. Look at that. Counterattack, yeah. Dude, that rage band he's got is really good. That counterattack is super good. Mara levels up. Sweet. Ah, look. Let's get our HP and TP back. Very good, but we're still hungry. There is no food in this time, man. Oh, look. this thing it's in bad shape but it looks like a humanoid robot incredible hmm I think I can fix it what fix it what if it attacks us like the other ones I'll make sure it won't robots don't attack of their own free will you know they only do it because humans make them that way <clears throat> Luca you really feel for them don't you I better get to work. The door won't budge. All right, that should do it. I'm going to give it some juice. Listen to this music. Here we go now. Good morning. Good, good. Good morning, mistress. What is your command? I'm not your mistress. I'm Marl. This is Chrono. And that's Luca, the one who fixed you. Understood. Madam Luca restored my circuits. Just Luca will do. That manner of address could potentially cause offense. I am incapable of offensive speech. Well, some of us don't like it when people are so formal all the time. Isn't that right, Marl? He he. Understood, Luca. All right, so what's your name? Name? Perhaps you are referring to my serial number. My serial number is R-66Y. R-66Y? Cool. Cool? What are you talking about? That won't do it all. Come on, Chrono. Let's give him a better name. So... His default name is Robo, so we're just going to keep his name as Robo. And yes, Robo is a party member in the game. We get a robot party member. How cool is that? He's actually one of the cooler members of the game of the, of the party. Robo. Yes, Robo is perfect. Your new name is Robo, okay? My name is Robo. Data storage complete. 
Hey, Robo, there's something I was hoping you could... What happened here? This dome contained many humans and others like me. Oh dear, this is kind of hard to say, but I think something awful happened when you were out. I, uh, I don't think anyone else has left. <clears throat> I see. What about yourselves? We came through a gate, a, uh, time warp from the year 1000. Good evening, No Sleep Real Lives, how are you? We learned here, this, we learned there was a gate here when we went to Eris Dome. And then we found out when, when he came looking for... We found you when we came looking for the gate. I can't read right now for some reason. But the door to the inner chamber is sealed shut, so it looks like we're out of luck. The dome's power has been shut off completely. The factory to the north contains an emergency power generator for this dome. I can bypass security to activate it. Shall we go there? You do that for us? You repaired me. Now it is my turn to be of assistance. However, the generator will produce power for only a short time. Someone must remain here to open the door as soon as power is restored to the dome. Marl or I can stay. We'll stay behind. Now think about it this way. You you have an inventor with you who knows everything about robots. You just got a robot in your party. Gee, let's take the princess. No, Marl is staying behind. Okay, be careful, Chrono. By the way, Robo is also a healer, so I don't mind getting rid of Marl right now because we're going to have someone else to heal us. So here's Robo. Let's take a look at his abilities. First of all, look how much HP he has. He's a tank, basically. Okay? And uh, taking a look. So he's got Rocket Punch. He launched the fist at an enemy. Cure Beam. Restore a small amount of HP to an ally. So that's his healing spell. And Laser Spin. Attack all enemies with a laser, but he hasn't learned that one yet. And he's going to learn combo abilities with each of your party members here. So, good stuff. <clears throat> okay. Finally, you can't imagine how boring it's been. Can I take the place? No. Oh, okay, I'll wait here. <laughs> no. Screw you. Yes, this game was uh, 1995. This game released in 1995, right around the same time as all the classic Final Fantasies did. All right. How do we open the door? Uh, the door won't open. What the hell? Oh, we're going to the factory. That's right. We're going to the derelict factory with Gro Robo, and he's going to open the door for us. That's what we're doing. All right, the Ehrlich Factory with Robo. Let's save. Cool, this game, I mean, as you can see, it's very fast paced. In, in two hours, we're turboing through a lot of advancement and a lot of plot and a lot of dungeons, right? It's pretty good, okay. Yes, I would, I would agree with you, the sprites are similar in size and detail to Final Fantasy VI. Okay, here we go. Go to it, Robo. Nice. He did it. Override security system double O. <clears throat> oh, we still got to fight this asshole, though. Critical hit, baby. Oh, two damage. So let's, do, let's try rocket punch. Rocket punch. Look at that. One damage. Amazing. Boosh! Michael Gaines, if any of the party members, including Chrono, could be your partner on a class project in fifth grade, who would you choose? Robo. Or Frog. Frog was my favorite character the first time I played the game, but I've grown to like Robo a lot as well. Uh-oh. <clears throat> oh, it's enemies! Oh, crap. I didn't even realize they were enemies. I really didn't. Rocket Punch! Then, flamethrower across all three for a triple hit. Nice. Didn't get a triple kill, though. Only a double kill. Got him. All right. Very good. So what does this say? Left lab laboratory, right factory. Danger, risk of death. 
Deactivation of factory conveyor belt forbidden. Stopping the belt will activate the security system, which could result in a loss of life. <clears throat> huh. Of course, this is this game is great, and uh, of course it's gonna hype me up for the Super Mario RPG remake later this year. That's gonna be amazing. I can't wait to see that with modern graphics and better music too. Oh shit! Oh shit! Shit! That's it. There's nothing else in here. That's all we can do here for now. Alright, we're going back. So basically, this is supposed to be our save point. Oh, down? You go down? We can go further down. Oh, nice. Here we go. <clears throat> no. We can't do this because there's a laser grid and we haven't deactivated the laser grid. We're going back up. Gotta go to the other side first, then. Oh, these assholes are back already. God damn it. Ah! Noxious jerks. There was a counter attack and a regular attack. Push him in his back. Critical hit right there. Very good. Stop electrocuting me like Blanca! Counter attacks, regular attack, death. Love the counter attacks. Robo has learned laser spin and super sonic spin dual tech. So we learned a new double team. Perhaps we'll try that in the next uh, fight. But in the meantime, let's cure Chrono. There we go. Nosy Real Lives, I have no idea if they actually did an anime or manga based on this. I, I, you know, never really followed that stuff back then, so all I know is about the game. <clears throat> okay. Do, 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 do. Man, where do we go? There's a million ways to go here. Oh, crap, I don't remember. A lot to do. Let's walk around. So this door here. here. Oh. Anything? Uh oh. What happened? We got lifted up. Where we go? Oh god, it dropped us on the conveyor belt. That's not good. Oh boy, let's fight this asshole. Ow! Counter attack. Ah! Badoosh! Where are we going? I didn't mean to do this. Oh no. Alright, let's do a double team. Supersonic spin. Let's try it. Ready? Look at this. Super duper spin. Oh. Damn, that was damaging. That was pretty damaging, huh? No, I didn't play any other Chrono games. There's only one Chrono Cross. And it was supposed to be like the spiritual successor, but it's not a true sequel, supposedly. I also heard it wasn't very good, so I never played it. Never tried it. Nice counter attack. Very good. Alright, onward. I don't even know where the hell we're going. I didn't really intend to do this, but I guess we're stuck doing it now. Oh god. There's five enemies in here! Kill. Chrono levels up.
Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll use some potions. That way I'm not using all my TP right away. There's a lot of enemies in this room. I passed them! Holy shit, that was good. Strategic passing. Man, could I have gotten that chest? Oh, shit. I think I could have gotten that chest. Shit, now I wonder what was in it. I think this is where we need to go, though. Like, where I am right now. Mid potion. Crane control... Codes. Pattern double O A B. Pattern one Y Y. So we need to use A B or Y Y in order to make the crane do something out there. Okay. I'm always curious right now, there's nothing you can buy for Robo, but eventually I will buy stuff for everyone. Don't worry. Badoosh. Critical hit. Very big game. Correct. A, B, and Y, Y. Again, guys, if you're here chilling with me tonight, if you do me a solid and like the stream, if you're having a good time, please do 30 likes to the bubble blow and the engagement that I'm looking for on the stream. Outside of that, any kind of a contribution would be greatly appreciated, whether it be a super chat or a membership or a membership to help out our community who likes JRPGs or a tip. All would be amazing. Thank you to anyone who contributes in any way tonight. Thank you so much. All right. So what items do we have in here? We got mid ether and 400 G. 400 G units. Very nice. G units, of course, the universal currency of all JRPGs. Everyone knows that. Some people think that they're gil or gold. They're actually G units. I don't know if you guys knew that. All right, uh, what's this? Oh shit, well, we got two more chests. Can I get over to them and not fight? Shelter and ether. Cool. Oh, okay. Wait for the tone of white flash and press any two. So it's A, B, and Y, Y. Fuck that up. What? That's Y, Y. That barrel. Okay. Don't ask me what that's supposed to do. Okay. It's moving barrels, but I don't know what these barrels will do for us. I don't know if they do anything. <laughs> Honestly. Alright, we're done here. Shit. Get back out. So... Where did this do? Did this clear? I think this cleared the floor. That's what it did. It cleared the floor for us. So now we can cross. Okay. Here we are. Another chest. Thunderblade. We already have that. We already found that. Yeah, we already have it. Well, I don't have an extract so we can sell it. Okay. What's this? Ultra High Security Door Lock System Code XABY. Coding. ABYX. A, B, Y, X. So that's what it is. It's A, B, Y, X. Yes, A, so A, B, Y, X will be a code we need to open a door somewhere. Where? I don't know. we got to find the door. But now we know the code. Okay. Oh, now we're back at the beginning. Yeah, we're actually back all the way back at the beginning now. See this? Oh, look. Bandit's bow? Ooh. A hidden bandit's bow is over here. 
Cool. The only thing we didn't get was that item down there, but I don't think I want to backtrack to get it, honestly. So this is the door. What the? Mid e there was a hidden mid ether. Oh, wow. That was all that was here. A hidden mid ether in the wall. Okay. So now where do we go? Now we're back at the beginning again. See this? We already did this. Is it gonna make me fight the enemies again? I totally don't want to do that again. I wonder. Now what do we do? We have we know the code is ABYX. Where do we use that code? that code, but I think we're going to go down to that save point and try to use a shelter to get our TP back. Uh, in the meantime, I received a dollar tip from Shinken25. What character do you think is the best super combo and super turbo? I vote for you. Super combo overall? Oh, man. Um, In the entire game, that's a tough question. Um, I would say Balrog has one of the most absolutely broken because it's five giant damage hits. He's completely invincible for most of it. He can cancels through almost anything. He's safe if they block it. Like, they can't do anything about it. Like, there's no way to punish it. He's completely safe on block. Man, a lot of characters have a really good one. Dalsim. Dalsim's is so good that even if you, he misses and you walk up to his butt, he hits you, he lights you on fire with his ass. I wish that was a joke. I'm not kidding. His ass lights you on fire during his super move. Thumbstick's jumpy. Okay, let's use the shelter. Here we go. Yes, it's called the spicy curry ass. I don't know if you heard that. Anyway. <laughs> so, alright. Uh. Shit. I can't do anything here. Console do I to Let me fight these fucking guys. Maybe if I kill them, I can do something. This is annoying. Chemical reaction? Oh god, what does that do? Oh no. I had no idea this was gonna happen. Oh no. We have a counter attack with this giant damage. Oh no! I didn't know that was gonna happen. One down. Okay. All right, you got a lot of experience for that. Robo leveled up. Oh, look! Patch open. Oh! You had to kill them first. I certainly didn't... Oh, God. I certainly didn't remember that. All right, we all got healed. So you had to do that first. Now we can go down. Whoa, what is this? Oh, boy. Oh, no. Two enemies fighting. <laughs> is this a Dragon Ball C game? Z games is Bleach Number 9. No, it's designed by the, by the people who made Final Fantasy and, and, other, and other classic Square Enix games. And the art style is Akira Toriyama, who drew Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. That's why it looks like that. All the characters were designed by Akira Toriyama. Pretty awesome. I know, I love the bass line. Oh, look where we are. We got to the other side of the laser. Hammer arm. All right, Robo. Yes, it's a big increase to damage. Very nice. And we got another item over here I saw. Titanium Vest. All right, big defense increase for Corona. All right, so here is the console. 
Hey, go throw ball. All systems down. Defense lasers deactivated. Oh, yikes. All we can do is attack them normally because if we use any special abilities to use those counterattacks, so this is going to take a while to get through. Take a while. Luckily, they don't do a lot of damage to us either. One down. I agree, Blue Dragon was an amazing game, also made by people, you know, kind of the same team, and also those characters were Akira Toriyama design. So, anything that combines these formulas are amazing games, right? Seriously. Boosh. Nice. So, Laser Grid's been deactivated, right? So now what? Now where do we go? That's where we came from, right? No. What's this? Oh. Wait, this is... Oh, look at this. Oh! Plasma gun! Okay, that's gotta be for Luca. Indeed. Plasma gun. It's even better. Will I play Final Fantasy VIII? Eventually, probably yes. Okay. CB door lock system operational enter the passcode. Ready? There it is. That was A B Y X. Very good. Oh god, boss time? Maybe. Oh boy. Boss time. Emergency, the rope security system has gone haywire. We must escape immediately. Whoa! Hurry before it is too late. Whoa! He's all right. Nice. Elevator's now disabled. Crap. Gotta go back the old-fashioned way. Oh, no. Look! Whoa! Wait. These... These are my friends. R64Y, R67Y, R69Y, it is good to see you again. Oh! What, what are you doing? You are defective. You are not one of us. Pardon? I am malfunctioning. Affirmative. A defect. I am a defect. Have you forgotten our assigned task? All intruders must be eliminated. That was the reason for my creation. You disgrace our series. You must be destroyed. Wow. No, stop. Ah! Don't, do not harm them, please. These robots are my brothers. Ah! Please stop, please. No! Please stop, please. They'll destroy you. Ah! Do not harm them, they are my brothers. Wow. What the hell? Dark, man, it's messed up. Wow, look at this! They threw him out with the trash! Oh my god! Robo! Now we shall eliminate the intruders! No! I think the intruders will eliminate you! Wow. Yes, 
counterattack. You have to use it though, but you didn't. Got one! Counterattack, beautiful, and a critical hit as well. Nice. Toss me around and toss me into Luca. Oh my god. Counterattack. Nice. Finish him! Or, I think the counterattack will beat it. You did! Nice! Leo Curious says, I want to tell you the manga is called Dragon Ball in Japan. Dragon Ball Z starts at chapter 195. I was in the middle of something, which is why I'm so delayed with it. Oh, see, I didn't even know that. I had no clue. Luga's level has increased. Robo! I see him. He got stuck. She saved him. She saved Robo. Thank you to Brandon Martin, who just did a super chat. He said, this is my first super chat ever. Hope your night's going well. Thank you to Brandon. Actually, Brandon, it can't be, because if it was, it would have told me. So you have super chatted before. You just may not realize it, because actually now YouTube says when it's the first super chat you've ever done. And it didn't say that. <clears throat> so you must have at some point in the past, and you forgot. But thank you for the super chat tonight. <sighs> they really thrashed him. I'm not sure I can even fix this. Let's get him back to Protodome for now. Wow, so they drag him. Damn. Sucks because I like I like Robo. He's a great party member. He's a good mix of damage and healing. Okay, can you fix me? Shh, don't try to talk. You are trying to change the world. I don't know how far we'll get, but that's the plan. Anyway, Robo, what do you want to do after I finish repairing you? What do I want to do? Yeah, I mean, you were stuck here all this time. There must be a lot of things that you want to do, right? No one has ever asked me that before, Luca. Wow. Good morning. Robo, thank goodness you're all right. Luca, you're incredible. Well, let's hope I never have to do that again. Luca, I have arrived at an answer to your question. I want to go with you. Really? You mean it? There is nothing left for me here. I want to help you. Together, we might be able to give the life on this planet a chance. Then now let's go. The gate's right through there. Nice. Here we go. Oh yeah. Sweet. Whoa. Where are we? Let's find out. First of all, let's save. We don't know where the hell we are. <laughs> HP and MP have been restored. What is this? Nothing. Can't do anything with it yet. Okay. Ah, more drifters. Drifters? Where are we? It is not a question of where, my friends. Much as when. This is the end of time. Travelers lost in time's flow turn up here, much like driftwood on a beach. But I ask where you're from? We're from 1000 AD. I come from the year 2300 AD. When four or more entities of varying origins enter a temporal rift together, the torsion exerted on time's flow pushes them to the point of least resistance. Here. There have been a number of folks turning up here, unintended recently, like yourselves. 
I fear something is having a powerful effect on the very fabric of time. <clears throat> Which means it would be safest if one of us stayed here. Here? Alone? It is a bleak place, isn't it? But not to worry. For all it says desolation, it is well connected. There are roads here to any time that you could ever wish to visit. Should you so desire, you can call upon your friends at any time. But you can never travel in groups of more than three. One of us must remain. Will it be, Chrono? So, <clears throat> as you can see, right now, it looks like uh, Robo is in the... Uh, Chrono cannot be removed, okay? Chrono has to be in the party. But everyone else is optional. So, the question is, who do we want to keep? I mean, both Marl and Robo are healers. Uh, Robo's kind of a hybrid damage dealer healer. While Marl is primarily a healer. And she also stops status ailments. Luka is really good for, for fire damage. But she's primarily all damage. She's not going to heal. And she her gun is kind of crappy. You know? So it's a tough decision initially. I didn't want to keep Robo in the party. But I guess the question is, you know, who, who do we want to keep outside of that? And, uh, I mean, we got Team Tech, which would be Robo and Luka. Team Healers, Marl and Robo. Man, I don't know. What do you guys think? I, I definitely want to keep Robo, but should I keep Luka or Marl in the party? I think either way is a good choice. Uh, what do you guys think here on the stream? By the way, shout out to Drew, who re-upped his membership. He says, is real real? Are all the zeros and ones in the Matrix? <clears throat> who knows? But thank you, Drew. For having your membership. Luga and Robo? Alright. Luga and Robo. Everyone's saying Luga and Robo. Alright, that's what we're going with for now. Don't leave me here for long, Chrono. <clears throat> well, that's the way of things. Should you desire to switch party members, you can do so via the main menu whenever you wish. How do we get back to our own time? Well, you saw the Pillars of Light when you arrived, yes? Each connects to this place from a different era. Once you've been through a gate, you can use it to return here whenever you wish. Step back into the light and press A once more, and you'll return to the gate. But beware, the gate connected to that bucket. You mean this bucket? Right here? You taking off, Jade? Alright, have a good night, Jade. Hey! 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 You needn't be in such a rush. Before you go, have a look past that door behind me. Alright. This thing. What are you looking at? Me? I'm Speccio, the master of war. I watch all kinds of battles from here. How do I look to you? Strong or weak? Pretty weak. Yeah, I see. How I look depends on how strong you are. If you're strong, I look strong. If you're weak, I look weak. Hmm? Oh, you got it in you, don't you? That must be why the old guy let you through. Well, see, a long, long time before you were born, there was a kingdom here where magic flourished. Everyone here could use it. But the people abused their powers and ended up destroying the place. After that, there wasn't anyone left who could use magic. Well, except in the fiends, of course. But you have it. That inner strength, I mean. Magic needs power of heart. That's where it flows from. There's four types of magic. Fire, water, light, and shadow. Not everyone's got that same type. You with the punk hairdo, you got light. That girl with that goofy glasses, her power's fire. What's with this big clunky thing? Sorry, buddy. Well, you aren't alive. You got great inner strength for what it's worth, but you ain't descended from the ancient magic users. You'll never be able to cast spells. Your laser weapons and whatnot should suffice, though. You can inflict shadow damage, kind of like shadow magic. By the way, it's not just magic. Everything's made up of four elements. All right, starting from the door, circle clockwise along the walls of my room three times and say, I want to use magic over and over in your head. Don't lose track now three times. Don't want you churning yourselves into butter. So he wants me to do this. One. Well done! It's so facto minimo magico! Bono learned to use magic! 
Luca learn to use magic. Robo cannot learn magic. Aw, oh, shucks. So, all fortified with magic. You want to try it out? Sure. All right. Here we go. Tech. Lightning spell. Here it is. And it costs two. She learned a fire spell. Damn, it did 104 damage. Did you see that? Rocket punch. Boom. Miss. So only magic hurts him. Oh, you killed Chrono. I think I'm about to die. <laughs> I win. You make any new friends, bring them here to see me. You see, I like new guys. So can we fight again? I think we can try again. Let's try fighting them again. So let's have Robo just constantly heal while they use their magic and see if we can win. Oh, I had him kill the wrong person. Oh, my God. Well, that's a complete waste of time. Kill the person who didn't take a hit. Genius. now because I didn't heal. <laughs> Great. Yep, we lost because I killed the wrong person. Ugh. I would have had like two more turns if I didn't heal the wrong person. Mm. Let's try again. For the record, if you turn off the ti active time battles and you have it so that the computer waits, this is actually way easier. didn't die. Oh, we lost. <laughs> we lost. We got him. Oh, me, oh my. That was embarrassing. Huh. Well, I guess you ain't so bad after all. Yeah, this is for you. Specchio special refresher set. One magic capsule and five ethers. What can I say? I'm the master of war. We did it. So what happens is, as you come back periodically in the game, Specchio will change appearance and become harder to fight. And at the end of the game, he's like one of the hardest bosses in the game. But every time you beat him, you get better rewards. So, hey! First of all...
Well, well, it seems I was right. People who lived long ago all enjoyed such powers, you know. Yes, long, long ago. Well, I know you must be eager to finish this thing that you seem so intent on doing. Why not first pay a visit back to your own era? Waste makes waste, as they say, and you'll find that even truer here. Come and see me whenever you have the need. Think of me as your guide on Time's Road. There you go. Same thing. Okay. So, let's save. And we're pretty much ready to adjourn for the night. But, uh, I just want to explore one other thing here before we adjourn for the night. So, can't do anything here yet? No, not yet. Can we do this yet? That gate leads to 1999 AD, the day of Lavos. If you wish to see the world destroyed before your very eyes, by all means go. But know that you yourselves may share the same fate. So, basically, this is a way to get to the end of the game right away. I'm not kidding. You can warp right to the end of the game now, but there is zero chance you can beat the game right now. So, the way this game works is that it has multiple secret endings, and the way you do them is that during different time periods, or different parts of the game, I should say, you then go and fight Lavos. There's various different ways to do it. At one point in the game later on, you could do it early, and you if you beat him then, you get a secret ending. And then, basically, there's no way to do this right now, but if you do New Game Plus, which you do after you beat the game, you keep all your stats from the first run, and you play it again, the second run through, you go to this bucket, and you go in there at various times, and then basically, if you win, you get different endings. And the game has, I think, I want to say like six or seven different endings. They're pretty interesting. Some of them kind of suck. Some of them are actually really interesting. So, anyway. Medina Village 1000 AD. Mystic Mountains. 65 million BC. We can go to 65 million BC if we want. And then we can go to the future. Now, if you didn't notice... There's no way to go to 600. We were to 600. That was the beginning of the game was 600 AD, and you can't go there right now. But he did say to go back to Medina Village. Let's do that. Uh-oh. Uh, what's going on? Look. You folks came out of my wardrobe, didn't you? What are you doing here? Who do you think you are? Coming and going from someone else's wardrobe at all hours of night and day? Humans, I'll tell ya. So that's the war, but where are we? Wait a minute. Medina is a village of fiends founded by our ancestors when they lost their war against humankind 400 years ago. Most of the townsfolk still have a grudge against humans, so be careful. There's an odd old human who lives near a cave in the mountains to the west. He may be able to help you out. Thank you for your advice. But why are you being so kind? Do your people not despise humans? It's been 400 years since man warred against fiend. There's no use in living in the past. Of course, not many other fiends seem to agree with that. <clears throat> Interesting. Really, Oboex says there's 14 different endings. So here we are, 1000 AD, and we are at a completely different part of the world. See that? Let's save up, and when we continue on in a couple nights, we will investigate this new area of the map and see where we are. We're at, you know, present day, but a totally different part of the world, right? Let's see what we can find. All right, guys. Great stream. A Chrono Trigger. Great progress tonight. I want to say again, thanks to everyone who's chilling with me for this playthrough. And for anyone here tonight who did support it, thanks. As you can see, guys, not a lot of support. And listen, I'm not going to sit here and complain. I'm going to say, hey, at least the other streams I'm doing have been great. They're balancing out. It's not like, oh, I had a horrible day or anything. But, you know, if you are enjoying this playthrough, please consider supporting it in the future. If you're watching this on demand on YouTube, please, if you could like the videos, leave comments, let me know what you think of Chrono Trigger. And also, consider maybe like a super thanks on the video or something like that, because right now, yeah, playthrough's fun. It's great for my anniversary. It is my 15-year anniversary as a YouTuber, which is the reason why I wanted to play this. But, yeah, <laughs> it is the, the least supported thing I'm doing right now. All right? All right, everyone, thank you, and I'll see you in a couple days for more Chrono Trigger.